I told her to keep the children inside. I told her to dies. <sighs> I told her to keep the children inside. I told her. I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He said. <laughs> okay, now that that's done. Hello everybody. My name is Jay Borky. Welcome back to my channel, Forpal Gaming. We're here again with Dishonored. You might notice I'm in a bit of a different spot than when I was in the previous episode. That is because I continued on recording from that episode and I was just going to cut the episodes later. Uh, wow, she snores loud. Got some sleep apnea going on there. Uh, I, I was going to cut the episodes up later and section them off and uploaded them one at a time, of course, like I usually do. And, as it turns out, at some point in the near future to where I am right now, uh, so basically like a mission or two ahead when you continue up the street through those plasma gates, uh, my computer, my hard drive that I was saving these videos to actually ran out of space. So... <laughs> I didn't realize that, and then I was playing for a bit, and I tried to save the game, and it told me it wouldn't save, and uh, because I had no space, and so I had to, I was like, oh, okay, well, that, that's a bit strange, but that's fine. I'll, I'll delete a couple of the save games, because I don't need those previous ones, and uh, I deleted those, and then it still wouldn't let me save, and so I'm sitting there wondering what's going on. And then I realized, I looked over at my Elgato game capture, actual, the actual program that I use to record this stuff, and I realized the fucking thing is not recording. And it's got this little error message sitting there saying, hey, you have no space left on your hard drive. You should probably do something about that. So I, uh, I wasn't too happy about that, and I kind of lost the will to continue recording that day, um, yesterday that was. Uh, so, here I am again, I have now had to, in losing all those saves as well, stupidly deleting them, um, I wanted to start the game again, play up to the point I was up to initially, uh, and then continue it from there, just so that, you know, it wasn't inter- you know, there, there was no real interruption of, uh, of- of time or anything like that for you guys uh, watching the video. Unfortunately, so what happened was I, I went to start the game again and then I realized, uh, and I had started the game again and it said to me, yeah, you know, you're going to lose your auto saves. It's going to over, it's going to be overwritten if you do this. And I'm, of course I was like, well, that's fine. The, sa the one save that I have left is an actual save. It's not an auto save. So we, uh, we should be all right. And what happened was it overwrote that save anyway, which, once again, it did not say that it was going to do that, and it just did it. So whatever. I lost that save, because I realized, look, I, I don't don't really feel like playing through all of that again. I realized I've already done about six, uh, no, yeah, six episodes, six half-hour episodes of this game. And, I mean, that's three hours of gameplay that I would have to redo, which... I wasn't really too fond of that idea, obviously. And then, like I said, I, uh... Did he just land on his sword? That's painful. At least he's not dead. Uh... I went back to do it, and... Like, just to go back to the original save that I had, and like I said, the save got overwritten, so... I was stuck with this new save doing the whole game again. But, on the plus side... I've done a lot better. Uh, I, I had a far more chaotic start, unfortunately. I ended up running into these five guys, and they saw me, and they all, you know, came and attacked me at the same time, and I was forced to kill them all. So that kind of happened, and, and I wasn't too happy about that. 
But fortunately, since then, I've had nothing but good luck, and I've actually found more secrets and more little nooks and everything that I had found on my previous run um, when I had started this this playthrough. And uh, yeah, I'm just doing a lot better. I haven't had to kill a single person after those five guys, which in my last playthrough I had to kill, as you would see if you're watching the videos. Uh, yeah, I, I would have had to kill. Well, I did have to kill quite a few more because I kept fucking up my stealth sections. <laughs> but anyway, we're here now. We're back in Galvini's lab. Uh, we're about to get our rat viscera. Obviously, the plague rat is just from the Let's just turn that off. It's Whatever way too expect, bright in here. Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe intelligence. Although the okay, so we've read all this before. Coriander's zoological survey describes only the ordinary rat. Which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Yeah, so there's all that, uh, as in the last video, the, uh... I think it was the last video anyway. I can only hope. Oh, that's right, I've got to go through this bookshelf, don't I? Uh, which one is it here? Ta-da! You can even see the wheel mark. <laughs> so obvious. Okay. Rat viscera. I apologize if this seems a little bit rushed. I'm not trying to rush it. It's just that I've, like I said, I've, I've already gone through all this now, and unfortunately, it just happened not to record. Luckily, the only thing I lost was about ten minutes, maybe, maybe even just five minutes of the uh, video that would have come after this one, and uh, because I, I was only playing for about five minutes before I realized the bloody thing wasn't recording anymore, and um. And then just this one, oh, this one half hour episode of, of this, of me going through this area and heading further up the street and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, like I said, it's unfortunate, but it's okay. We're back here now. We're back where we needed to be. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that I made the effort to, uh, go back through. You guys can, uh, pause that and read that if you want to. I'm glad I, I'm really, you know, I've already been here an hour now. Uh, we're going back down. Fair enough. What have you done to me? I assume this is Jessamine's heart. I can't rightly remember. Like I said, there's a lot about this campaign that I don't really remember. Lovely. Back we go. Well, that was good. We managed not to set off any alarms all through that area as well, so we're doing quite well now. I'm just going to save again. And I think from now on I'm just going to be sectioning my videos off rather than doing one big video of, you know, two hours. And then sectioning it off after that into uh, half hour portions. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do what I used to do, which is, yeah, basically just record half hour at a time and stop and start. And hopefully that will allow me to avoid making the mistake of using up all my hard drive space again. Oh, okay, it's up here. Um. Ah, oh, that's right. This is the place that I, uh, I did the exact same thing I did last time. I completely missed that entrance. Mm hmm. Okay, well, nothing else. Uh, oh. Got a bit of coin, too. Very nice. Totally missed that last time, too. Okay, we're going to go into the uh, Dunwall Distillery. As I said, I've also done this part already. But, uh, let's see if we can't do it better the second time, eh? I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident that we can. Especially because I actually came into this place, I walked into the old Dunwall distillery before I was told to, and I kind of messed around with things a bit, and then I came back later. So that was a little bit messy. Alright, here we go, ninja mode. Ninja mode. He's not going to see me, right? Just 
just take it slow. Pretty much, bro. <laughs> oh, okay, they're not talking about me. Fair enough. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slapjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. He'll want to check on things. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Okay. They like killing rats, don't they? I suppose rats. the rats like killing them too, so it's all fair. Okay, down we go. That was close. Ooh, very well done that time. Once again, a lot cleaner, a lot neater than my, uh, my last playthrough. I'm going to do the same thing I did. Now, I... I did actually... Did I come through here? Yeah, I came through here the first time before Galvini's Lab, so... A lot of you... Or Galvani's Lab, rather. A lot of you, uh... Yeah, obviously, you would have already seen me go through this area, I think, but not when I was meant to go through it. I went through it the first time, as I said, and now this is, uh... The time when I had the stuff to poison the still was the second time. So, um... This is just straight up first time I'm going in here in this playthrough, so this will be this will be good. I f I can feel it. Hello. Up we go. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's gone. He sneaks in. You know where? Throw you in at it when he's sober. I remember. Brimsley job. Hidden the dumb waiter all night. Yes. Yeah. So he goes from room to Okay, that's not gonna happen. Sleep. An overseer giving a lecture to the kids. Oh, oh okay. The guys training with those hounds. There we go. Expect. Still but getting caught on the walls a little bit. Kind that's of fine. Shame. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music, a kind of plinky, plonky sound. That. There is a strong, strong drink made here. here. Still here I tried it once. Never distilled from river crusts, but I tasted it. it. The brothels spread out around the distilleries. They are inseparable. When the last of the hyphen is gone, darkness will fall. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Okay, only th only three things to say about this place. That's fair enough. I get that. Ooh, I'm glad this thing's accurate. Fuck. I'd be in trouble if it wasn't. to go in here. I think there's one guy in here somewhere. Yeah. <coughs> night night. What this? Yeah, 
Do I remember there being more of them around this area? Or is that the two dudes that are out in that large yard? I think those are the two guys in the large yard that I'm seeing through the walls. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fill some shit up here. Create, please. I would like to get as much as I can out of this. Um... Okay, here we go. How many do I have exactly? Uh, what do we got? Plague affinity, damage by weepers gives small amount of mana. That's interesting. Uh, good lungs still, voya, delicate touch. Okay, so nothing really new, just that one. I could have sworn I did have another one, but maybe not. Uh, in the meantime, I didn't even check to see <laughs> what I've got. Ah, oh, full. Okay. So there's no point doing this again. That's fair. Well, let's go ahead and poison this then. There we go. And we can slink back out of this place. Let's just take one of those and then get that as well. That's right, this is the door that... <gasps> Holy crap! I totally forgot about that. Uh oh. They definitely heard that. See, once again, just dumb me just running through hallways, not fucking noticing traps and shit. We'll be fine. Okay, now there's a something something up there, I believe. So that's still the case? It is. Oops, uh. I didn't mean to get her talking again. Oh, no. Oh, fine. Okay, shit. That's not gonna work. Um. Well, can I make it there? Holy shit! That was almost a bit too far. Well, we did well. Let's move on, shall we? Shame there's not a back door to this place. That's a little, uh, automatic double jump sort of thing that Corvo likes to do every now and then. I have no control over it, he just does it. When you jump in strange situations, anyway, let's go. Whoop! Well, that was very well done on my part, I think. Um, I know that sounds like I'm patting myself on the back, but I am. So, <laughs> considering how badly it went the last time. I think I'm allowed to congratulate myself for doing well. Alright, you're just chilling over there, buddy, huh? Yep, cool. Uh, I'm gonna get myself over to here. That was close. Oh, what? Where'd all the rats go? There were rats in there last time, man, that's not fair. That's not fair. That's okay. I wonder if I should try and choke these guys out, or maybe I just leave them. I want to go in here and get whatever that is. That looks like a spring razor mine, maybe. Oh, it is. Oh, no, it's a rewire tool. Even better. I'll take that. Oh, fucking shit. That was close. What? Peace! I'm the fuck out of here! Holy shit, that was close. And nobody will believe him. <laughs> ah, evil Corvo. Bad llama. Oh shit, that was a bit far. That's okay. Hey, buddy. 
Okay, now, as with last time, I think I may need to knock that guy out, but I'm not sure. we will see if I can get up to this pipe. If I can, I won't need to knock him out. If I can't, I will need to shoot him with a dart. Ooh, that's a long ways. Oh shit. Hey buddy. What's going on? Tell nobody of this experience. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, we got some damn good loot out here. Okay, let's make sure we don't lose our awareness. This, I, this game... Okay, it'd still be, abs absolutely it would still be playable, but this game would be so much harder if you couldn't do all this shit. I'm telling you. So much fucking hard. Oh, can we just... Thank you, Christ. That took way too long. Hey, buddy. What's going on? I'm gonna go this way. I should have just... Oh, God, I'm dumb. I should have just looked up here and gone up this way. There we go. Rooftop hopping. Oh! And look at that! A grenade! Well, look at that. He's found the other guy. Oh, good thing I caught that. <gasps> Please don't explode. No, stop it! Stop picking up explosive bottles, damn it! Okay, we're good. <laughs> Holy crap. Please get me out of here. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we made it. And that was just flawless. I mean, really. Well, I mean, not flawless, flawless. Flawless in that I didn't get caught more than that one time. But, I mean, I got away and the guy didn't end up figuring out where I got to. So, I mean, hey, look. To me, that's a, that's a victory right there. Okay, so now we got to go back to Granny Rags. We've gone and uh, gotten what she wanted. And she's going to give us a, another rune, hopefully. Hey, Granny. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. Ah, <sighs> good. It's going to be good to be able to, uh, obviously in the next few minutes I'll be heading up through the streets and whatnot. And I will be, uh... I'll be heading up the streets further and end up basically where I was up to uh, when the when I realized that the game had cra uh, that the sorry my recording program had crashed I'm wondering what we go to I don't I really don't feel like I'm gonna use that I'm not gonna kill anyone well I'm trying not to kill anyone at least same with that um Bend time, I think, would be the way to go. I'd love to get possession, though, too. I'd imagine I could get a lot of secrets and a lot of alternate routes uh, and, and ways around problems and shit if I get possession early. Oh, but that would be damn good. The only problem is, like, what's a short duration? What, I mean, does this even say... Sneaking assassination, suspended in time, rush them to one where a lethal strike, bent time, all you stop projectiles midair. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to save it. The possession is going to be more useful to me later on. Uh, I'm really, I've never really used that wind blast thing. Do we have anything? What have we got? Plague affinity. Swift shadow. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're getting that. Uh, we need to get rid of that. And we're going to put that in there. Oh, here we go. 
Okay. Can I... Oh, yep. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're doing. Yep. Okay, we're saving up. We're getting a third rune. We're going to get that again. And then we're going to save up another two and upgrade that. Then we're going to get possession and bend time later on. Maybe even uh, upgrade blink. Uh, do use blink quite a bit more. Oh my god. Look how quickly I'm moving right now. Is that not insane? The difference is small, but really, really super noticeable, and I feel like that is just going to be so useful for me. Just being able to slink around a little bit faster. Attention just here and there. All deceased family members to the local Unreported deaths are a punishable affair. Okay, we're gonna get this guy's attention. Just gonna slink down below this wall here. See, we'll just wait for him to wait for him to start moving. Come on, buddy. Do I have to throw a bottle or something? Oh no, that's right, they have a conversation. I keep forgetting about that. Hello, golden cat. Six left. He'll be fine. Oh, it's three of them there. Okay, time to go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Wait for it. Hello. Oh, good. You can just lie there. Now, I believe... I believe in the last video, the one that I lost the recording of, I believe this is where I started... Uh, sorry, this is where I finished it. And then I started it again, and then I moved on to there. Once I got up to that sort of area, there's like a uh, guard post sort of on the left-hand side of the road there. Once I got up to there, that was when I realized that I had lost all of this gameplay. Uh, so, thank you very much for your patience, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you again for watching. I'm going to stop that episode right there, and uh, then start the new one, of course, and separate the videos uh, during recording this time rather than uh, in post. So thank you again for watching. Uh, my name is Jay Bawaki. For watching my channel, Vorpal Gaming. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content so far. Check out the other stuff on my channel. We're playing Dishonored. And I'll see you in the next episode.